Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Shooter FPV, and today we're going to do a review on a package from HGLRC. Um, it comes with, well, it came with uh, two fl uh, flight controllers, the uh, an LED set, and um, a GPS. Um, so the products that they're coming out with are, are probably already out with. I've seen uh, the flight controllers out already, so... Um, the first one is the Zeus F722. It's a 30 by 30 board and it's made for DJI, but um, since I'm not uh, at that point yet, um, it'd be way too expensive for me. I got so many, uh, so many quads that I could put the stuff in. It would just be way too expensive right now. So I'm sticking with analog, but um, so this is the Zeus F722. It's an F7. Um, and as you can see, it's got a lot of plugs. Um, the bonus to this is that, well, you already got the DJI plug here. You got your um, ESC plug here. Now, the other plugs, these small ones here on the top and the bottom, these are actually for the LED kit that you can get. It's, um, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and this one in the middle is for the GPS. So you can plug that right in, and um, hopefully it shouldn't be easy. Uh, shouldn't be easy. It shouldn't be hard to set up in uh, in Betaflight. I've never used the GPS with Betaflight yet, so uh, we'll see. Um, and let me actually just grab something to point with here. It'd be a lot easier. Um, so you got an LED button, and from what I'm reading is you can actually controlled i guess just like the flashing and things of the leds when they're plugged in so if you hit the button you can um you know change some things and you got your boot button here and you also instead of the plugs if your leds don't have plugs you can solder them to pads that sit on top of the board so that's pretty cool so they have you you know you can take advantage of it if you don't have plugs um so it doesn't leave anybody out you don't have to worry about it so um and as you can see there are many 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 solder pads um you can actually do dual cameras um i don't do that yet you can do like a cheater quad where you can have a camera in the back and in the front but um i'm not too worried about that um there's actually a nine volt pad i believe it's uh, i'm not even actually sure this is so small i can't even see it but they have a couple of nine volt pads actually one of them so you can um you can throw a vtx on it without having to worry about soldering it to the um, battery leads or you know anything like that so you can take some power you can take nine volt typically like i'm using a on this build here i'm going to use a uh unify and that does i think seven to twenty six so with nine volt that's actually pretty good so um i'll take advantage of that plus um it's got the five volt for camera and all that stuff um here you got the pads for your rx you can do um you can do pretty much anything uh fr sky crossfire which actually i'm going to do crossfire so um and actually and I'm, i haven't checked this out yet but i believe this is a USB-C. And I don't, I'm, maybe I'm just behind on things, but I don't think I've ever seen USB-C on a flight controller before. So if I kind of get a little close, I don't know if it'll focus in, but that sure the heck does not look like a um, mini USB. That looks like USB-C. So I just got this, so I'm going to check it out. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. So I'll have to see how that, uh, how that works. I mean, I'm glad that they finally advanced after what, I don't know, a couple of years or whatever that... USB-C has been out, so that's actually pretty surprising. And also, what you get with it, and I, I haven't figured it out yet, but they give you a ton of wires. For what, I'm not too sure yet. I mean, it looks like some, like, maybe camera. Um, I don't know. I mean, it just looks really, really crazy. Like, they give you everything. These might be for LEDs. Um, but hey, they make uh, great spares. I'll just throw them in my uh, my toolbox and have those ready when I need them. So 
this I'm not going to take out of the package yet because I'm not going to use it yet, but this is the F722 Mini. So this is just the mini version of the bigger one. So um, I don't have a build yet for this, but um, I'm sure I'll have one soon enough. If you, uh, if anybody knows me enough, uh, I'm always building. So, um, so it looks like you got the DJI plug here and the ESC plug and the solder pads look pretty, they look good for a 20 by 20. I mean, typically they could be smaller than that. So, um, it actually looks really good. So it'll be interesting. And I don't get a lot of wires with this one, just your typical ESC cable and the gummies and all that stuff. So, um, still not sure what's up with that, with the, all those wires. So, um, so the next thing here is what they call the GPS M80 and I hope it's not an M80. hope it doesn't blow up. Uh, if any of you guys know what an M80 is, um, shows my age, I guess, because I don't think you see them much anymore. But anyway, um, this looks like a pretty decent GPS, GLONASS, and all that good stuff. Um, it comes with this cord here, this cable, but there's one from the, um, from the flight controller that I think I'm going to use because it actually terminates into a plug that will fit... Um, that will fit here so i'll i'll just do that so um like i said never had a gps before so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to just leave it loose and i think you can get a 3d printed um like holder for it that you can kind of strap in with your battery because you do want the gps on top so if i can get something that i can maybe loop in with the battery strap um and keep it up on top and kind of keep the wires close um i think that'll work out pretty well so we'll have to see what's up with that. I'll talk about this build really quick in a minute. Um, and the last item are the LEDs. Uh, they actually call them the W55 4B. And what they give you is um, they give you four strips, which you can put on the arms, or you can just take two and put them somewhere, or you can do you know whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to put them on the arms here somewhere, but I'm not sure if I want to put them on top maybe on the bottom um, I'm not too sure yet so I'll have to figure it out but I will put it on this build and we'll see how it goes and they also give you four wires here um, which is good and they actually also give you uh, four pieces of heat shrink so you can just kind of once you got it wired up actually even even if you don't you can just kind of put them in and heat them up and you're good so, um, so that's it. This, this build is actually what I'm going to put it in. This is actually a frame called the Wasp by Kevin Seeley. It's a, it seems like it's a really good frame. Um, the arms are five millimeter, uh, five millimeter, really thick, never used it before, but I know a lot of people that have used this frame and they love it. So, um, I think it's going to be pretty decent. Um, but I didn't want to have, you know, a lot of this build in, in this video. It's more for the HGLRC stuff, but I figured I'd just kind of show this to you real quick. So, um, in the next few days or so, I'm going to get this wired up. I will um, come back, show a video of it all wired up, and you know, let you know how things go. And then um, we'll program it, get it all set up, and hopefully, sometime next week, I will get the maiden flight in and uh, and we'll check it out. But um, looks pretty promising. Looks good. Um, you know looks good like this so hopefully it will uh, run as good as it looks so okay so that's it for now I'll come back when the uh, the FC is all wired up and we'll be ready to go so until then stay safe practice your social distancing I know things are starting to get a little worse but uh, hopefully you can still get out and fly uh, hang with some friends and fly and um, you know just have a good time just kind of you know make sure you forget about you know things for a bit and um you know that's just kind of how it works for me so all right so take care everybody and we'll see you next time all right everybody hey i'm back um so i got the flight controller wired up it was actually super super simple um camera video here the actually the video in is here video out to the vtx is here um nine volt for the vtx which is a unified pro 
HV. And um, the receiver is here. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to throw the GPS in, but conveniently, they have the plug, which is this right here. And this plug here, this one, there's another one, uh, another two on both the other side. These are your LEDs if you want to put them on. So I think I will, but probably just not yet. I want to get it tuned. I want to get it flying good and then, you know, worry about that, even the GPS too. Um, but everything, as you can see, is wired up, got a cap on it. Um, yeah, everything's good. So we will take it out and tune it, fly it, all that good stuff. Uh, the best I can. I mean, I'm not the greatest tuner in the world. Um, defaults or little variations actually work good for me, but it's something I got to learn. So might as well just jump right in and, uh, and do it. Um, yeah, other than that, here it is. It fits well. Gummies, all that good stuff. So... So, all right, so I'm um, not sure if I'll throw the, um, the maiden flight on this video. I think I'll do it separately. Um, this is just to highlight the uh, flight controller and everything else that went with it. Um, so I will probably do that separate and put this in its own video. It's, uh, it seems like a decent flight controller so far. So we'll go with it and see what's, uh, see what's up. So that's it. Um, stay safe, everybody. Um, practice everything you can with masks, social distancing, all that good stuff. And, you know, we'll get out of this and uh, we'll look back on it and uh, hopefully we'll learn something. So um, get flying and uh, we'll see you next time.